Hi, welcome to a brand new build. This is something, as you can tell, something completely different to what usual is. I've always wanted a PC, a decent PC. I've had crappy laptops, so and so forth. And I've watched a lot of YouTube videos how to build. I used to play a game called, or I still play a game called PC Builder. That's irrelevant anyway, but. So these are the components I've got. I'll go into more detail when I put them on the PC, but I'll show you what I've got so far. Nothing like wowie. This PC works out to be about, with screen and mouse, all peripherals, everything here, works out just under be £1,500 it costs. So work out in American if you want. I don't know how you do that. I've got an Ion, Onyx, Ionix, Ionix? I say it, Pro Gamer 350F. Pretty decent, uh, 50 odd quid. I think it's not amazing. It's got a pretty decent cable management back in the back. And I don't know how I'm going to put the uh, corner on exactly yet. This is a MSI Mag Core Liquid 20, 240R V2. This is nice. It's got a uh, LED, uh, RGBs, and this cooler also uh, the uh, bit that goes onto the CPU uh, will turnable is turnable, so whatever way you put it on, this will be right way up. So that's kind of nice. I've got a uh, CPU. You're talking about CPU. I've got a core, a tenth gen core i9, i ten eighty fifty k, which is a uh, LGA 1200 socket as well. This is quite a nice one. So nine cores, I think it is. That's what it is. Nine cores. Yeah, nine quite nine cores. Surprisingly, don't come with a cooler. Most CPUs come with a cooler. So kind of lucky I've got a, a liquid cooler in it. Otherwise, I've been buggered. But yeah, you've got uh, to go with that cooler. You've got. MSI Z50, uh, Sim, uh, Z590 Pro Wi Fi. So, this should have Wi Fi uh, connection already. 4 Gen Lightning. This obviously supports the CPU. So, make sure this is an um, ATX board as well. Make sure the ATX board fits the fix. First thing to do, probably best, if you've never bought built PC, is find out what. Um, case you like and it tells you it's an ATX size board so get an ATX board and if you like Wi-Fi or whatever you want to do so this is an ATX this is a nice board it comes with all the bits and pieces I'll show later and then once you've got that then you know if you go to Intel or AMD and then you get an AMD or Intel which I have and then you know what way you're going because otherwise you don't know if you get an ATX board, uh, ATX size uh, case, but get a smaller board or bigger board, you obviously you'd be buggered. You won't know what you're going to get and then go and so forth, otherwise, nothing will work. So make sure it all matches up. Now, I've got two 8 gig DDR4 memories, so 16 gigs, 3200 hertz. Amazing, not amazing again, but it's pretty de half decent. Then I've got a uh, two uh, a, a, a SSD, basically a hard drive, one terabyte. Uh, Samsung, it's not too bad. Base speed, 160 megabytes, 130, 530 megabytes speed. Right speed, again, not wowy, but it's something in it. Now I've got a Seagate uh, M.2 M drive as well. I think this would be. I think I'll use this as the startup drive, and use that as the uh, the other one's the uh, uh, storage. But we'll see what happens. What's this? Uh, M.2, M.2, yeah, so so forth. Not too bad that one. And probably most important one. I haven't I even opened this. See, that's still silver. Right? This is a RTX. RTX GeForce uh, 2060. Yeah, this is quite nice. This is only this was only like 300 or something like that. So I'll forked out mostly on the CPU and GPU. And these were the most expensive ones, about 300 each. 
roughly. So these these ones are the most important ones. And the Wi-Fi board weren't too bad, considering what size it is. And obviously match these up with these and you'll be good. Right, I'll be back with you when I get to the first part, which uh, maybe try and get the uh, CPU cooler in the case. Be back in a minute. This is the case. It's got a nice clear acrylic, um, was it not acrylic, tempered glass front, so you can see all the workings. It's got a nice uh, magnetic. Uh, dust filter on top. This is hopefully where I'm going to put the uh, cooler on and the fans. Hopefully, you can fit it in there. Obviously, you can screw it in place. Pretty decent size there, but it's where we have enough room for the motherboard on the inside. So you got the front, which has oh, two massive fans, which are RGB. And I think this will probably pop off. I don't know exactly sure how that will pop off yet. We'll get to that later. And you've got another fan at the back of the uh, case. So these side panels get held on by uh, thumb screws. So what we have to do is lift and undo them by hand. You can probably, sometimes they're really tight, so you might have to use a screwdriver to do it. But that one was, when I first did it, I opened it up before. It's pretty loose, so. Put the panels aside so they don't get damaged. Make life easier. So you've got all the cables at the back here. So you've got uh, some front panel connectors. So you've got the uh, well side panel connectors technically at least. Right? So you've got LED, USB, top three. I think that's the USB three. Then you've got a reset. You've got power. All them there, and you've got these ones. I think these are the fan headers, fans for the uh, front two and the back uh, front one. And you've got spacer back here, here for HD SSD, which I didn't know there is one there exactly. So that's that. And on the inside, the other side, let's open this. I will need to for later. Try not to drop the uh, <coughs> thumb screws. Careful with this because this is tempered glass, so very careful with that. Get to the side as well, safely. And then you've got the inside standoffs. If you haven't already got them on there. They are, in this case, literal case, they're set up for ATX board. Um, I think there's no, well, there's no signs of saying how to put on a different board. So, but there are other standoff holds there, so you have to probably mess about to find out what was what. You got a bag here of some cable tires and some screws. Obviously, a PSU will fit here. Again, it's got like a um, air filter, filter there bottom got some de half decent um, airflow on this so that's pretty cool so when you usually do this um, the mother ball is going to fit here so I think there'll be plenty of room for the hopefully there's plenty of room for the um, liquid cooler so what I'm going to try and do is put the PSU in first, the power supply first, then get all the wires in there. My PSU is a um, modular, so modular means all the wires you can take off and you put the wires you want in. So I'll only put in the wires I need and try and reroute, try and route them through the top here what I need on the board. And they make it a bit easier, maybe I think. So uh, I'm gonna get the PSU out and try and fit this in. I'll be back with you. So PSU is quite cool. Come, the cables that come with it are in this nice little bag. You got a lot of different cables, but you don't have to use all of them because that's what the modular uh, PSUs like uh, PSUs are for. So then you got this in the bag. PSU actually in a bag, which is nice. 
Yeah, it's cool and nice star. It's got a nice, I think it's slightly fight silent fan as well, and it's 80 plus gold standard, which is nice. 750 watt, I forgot to say that earlier. That was hybrid on and off means, to be honest. So, I'll probably have that off just in case, so I'm no clue what it means. So, then you've got all the power connectors at the back, let's put it right around. They say to put this in the case if you've got like a filter, uh, filter at the bottom to put it so the fans face down. If you haven't got a filter or airflow at the bottom, put it face up. In this case, it'll be face down. So you've got 10 pin, uh, 10 pin bolting. <laughs> That's for the CPU, I think. I'm not sure, 100% sure actually. Then 18 pin for the motherboard. You got SSD and H. Hard drives, but I haven't got hard drives. This is CPUs. So, I don't want temp. Oh no, sorry, that's the motherboard. Uh, that's the um, temp for the motherboard. The PCE, which is the uh, graphics card, the CPU, and the SATA board, SATA drive. So, there is no. Um, Sometimes some boards, some power supplies, you can, it has come with a little connector at the bottom, a way of putting it in. So I'm not sure exactly how this goes on yet. So, so that'll plug in there like that. And you somehow screw it in. I say somehow because I have no clue. <laughs> Okay, so I've got a screw hole here, a screw hole lines up sort of there, and there and there. So it looks like I've got three screw holes that fit this PSU in. But, best thing to do is plug the wires in first. So you've got to sort out for the wires you need, which obviously I've got to figure it out and I'll uh, find the screws to screw it in. I'll be back with you in a bit. So. Right, so I've put all the power, uh, leads I need on there. Which is only uh, four sets. So we've got the motherboard power supply. We've got the SATA disk, uh, SSD, which I don't know exactly where I'm going to put yet. CPU pin and the um, uh, called CPU and uh, uh, graphics card as well. So I found four screws in the box with the uh, PSU so these seem to fit in the four screws in the front so what I'm going to try and do is try and get the PSU in the front here and those are the screws Face down. Like so. And then somehow line it up with the uh, screw holes and uh, tight up, tighten it up. So I'm going to do that off camera and I'll be back with you once that's done. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I've been struggling. Um, not a surprise really from the first build, but I've put the oh, beeping. I've put the PSU in there. That weren't too bad. And I've skipped ahead a bit as I've put the CPU cooler in here. I've had to mess about with getting the fans in there, and it's pretty tight. But I think the screws it's all screwed in there neatly now. And I've put all the uh, wires for the CPU uh, cooler here. I've put the CPU fan here so these should be pretty easy to get to the uh, fan cooler earlier uh, to the headers up here on the motherboard um, so yeah this is all ready for the or this will be ready soon for the motherboard once I put that ready so that'll do for today um, for this video anyway otherwise it'd be a very long video so see you soon in the next one Hope you enjoy. Bye.
please remember to hit the like button and the subscribe. See you soon in the next video. See you soon. Bye.